Om Namah Shivaya. Very short movie. My last trip to India. September, October, November 2023. Not, not a long time ago. I have met beautiful Swami in Rishikesh. Holy man. Beautiful being. And we are talking, we are talking. And he's saying to me, Thomas, you do not meditate. I'm saying, Swami, I'm busy. But he knew that I'm, he knew I stopped meditation for some reason. <clears throat> and he said to me like that, Tomji, you have to follow yamas and niyamas, the rules and regulations. But I say to him, no, Swamiji, because the rules and regulations are made by Ashuras. And he was laughing and he said, but Devas are also there. And it is very true. We know that uh, the politicians mostly work for Ashuras. But Devas are, are, are also there. And before, co before COVID era, we could feel that this guru, that guru, this teacher, that teacher is good. But the COVID era, our collective consciousness karma showed exactly who is who. Fake guru, fake teacher, this and that. And we don't know who exact, exactly who is who. Who is true guru, who is fake guru, fake teacher, fake guru. But like this, Holy Man from Rishikesh told me, Thomas, follow Yamas and Yamas because Devas are also there. And it is very true. Half of creation is Devas, half creation is Ashuras. Both sides make one creation, wholeness. There is no separation from Devas to Ashuras. They are together. So I have to follow the rules and regulations, which I don't like in duality. But the Swamiji told me, and it is very true. Though the rules and regulations sometimes for us are not very comfortable and we don't like it because we can feel, we have feeling that there is something wrong. And I'm saying to him, no Swamiji, because Ashura's making these rules and regulations. But he's saying, Devas are also there. So we don't know who is who. Who is right, who is wrong, who is good, who is bad, black and white, duality. We have to go beyond duality. And one guru was good for me five years ago, but today I know that he was doing something not good for others. So today I'm going in different way. But that guru has many followers. It is true, it is okay. Because that level of awareness for the, that people is good for this moment. So if these people have this level of awareness, it is this guru. But if they vibrate in here, they will meet that guru. But if they vibrate below, the new guru will come. So every teacher, every guru, master is coming, is going to you according to your frequency, vibration, your awareness. When you're ready, your guru is coming. If you are not ready, just keep doing your practice. People asking me, why I'm so lucky I'm meeting many masters in my life. It is true. I'm meeting many 
teachers, masters, gurus in my life, but I'm meeting also fake gurus. But I'm doing my sadhana, I'm doing my yoga practice, hatha yoga, pranayam, meditation, bhakti, kirtan, service of karma yoga, jnana yoga, kriya yoga, many, many things I'm doing every day, but I have no expectation for result, because all fruits are going back to the creation. Now I am in Crete, on Greece, beautiful Crete island, and now people coming to, to my yoga school to teach yoga from me. It is beautiful. It is their level of awareness, but it is also my karma yoga. But I know, I have feeling in my four chakras that new teacher will come to me again because I've done Hatha Yoga, Pranayam, Bhakti, Kriya Yoga, Karma Yoga. I have done many ways, Jnana Yoga, doing always. But there are, there are many, many other ways. There is not only one way. There is not only two ways. There are many, many, many ways. But you have to practice, you have to do your sadhana with no expectations. No expectation, no frustration. This is very simple. When people want to join to my class, I'm saying, if you want to come, come, but no expectation, no frustration. Because sometimes miracles happen during my yoga lesson also, but it's not from me. I'm only a tool. And if you are on my yoga class, for example, you have experience. It is not from me. But you have experience and you want to share with that experience with somebody. And you, you're saying to your friend, listen, on his lesson I had that kind of experience. Miracle happened. And another person will come with expectation to get experience. And they will never get it. Because yoga is not for experience. Yoga is to, for, to go closer to the creation. To get your awareness. To, 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 to go back to pure consciousness. Of course, byproduct of the practicing of yoga is a CD power, for example. Reading mind, this, that, seeing something. But this is not the goal of the yoga. Creation is testing you, whether you're ready to go level higher or not. Maybe you are not ready. You are very focused because you can read people's mind or you have some CD power. You are a magician and you are very proud of ego. Oh, I'm a good teacher. No. You are like a fly, nothing. Like a drop of the ocean. One drop of the ocean, what is this? Ocean is huge, but you are only one drop. You have quality of creation because you are one drop of the ocean, but quantity, you are only one drop. And ocean is limited, but creation is unlimited. So how do you want to understand creation by your limited mind. You cannot. So keep doing your sadhana, keep doing your practice, whatever is your guru, whatever is your teacher, whatever is your level of your awareness, just keep doing with no expectations. And miracles happen. One year ago, I had no money, but I had deep desire to go back to India. And then money came. I spent in India amazing time. So now I'm doing practice in Greece with amazing people. And I'm doing Markar Mayok. But I have deep desire to go back again for pilgrimage, for another Shiva temple, visit Krishna in Vrindavan. 
and but I have no expectations. I have deep desire. If God allow me to go, I will go. But I am fulfilled. I was nine times in India. I've been experiencing Rishikesh, Varanasi, North, South, East, West, many holy places. How many people was there? I was nine times. Nine is Shiva number. I knew it, I will be there minimum nine times. So, you see, things happen only when you have no expectation. You can have deep desire and working, doing sadhana with 100% devotion and then miracles happen and where you have to be, you will be. So have a nice evening. Om Namah Shivaya. Thank you.